Hey everybody, this is one of my quick review videos, and if you're confused as to what this is, what you're watching, and why it's not a full reaction slash review analysis video, make sure to click the first link in the video description below or the annotation up above my head, and that should answer all your questions about this new series. Don't worry, the reaction slash reviews that I do are not being replaced, they're not changing, I just want to bring you guys even more content in addition to those videos. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about Monsta X All In. And this group is on the Starship Entertainment label, so pretty big company, pretty successful company. Obviously they have Sistar, but anyway, the song itself, uh, very heavily trap influenced, um, obviously got some hip hop influence, some dubstep influence. And this song was kind of a hit and a miss for me, if that makes sense. I did like some things about it, but I also didn't like some things about it. The main issue that I have with it is that the intro and the choruses really sound like there's just way too much going on. They tried to pack like way too many ideas into the song. And you guys know me, I like really complex, really like interesting, tons of layers in music, that type of stuff. But there's obviously a fine line there and you have to stay on the side of being a cohesive musical idea because the more things you add, the more easy it is to get off on kind of random tangents and have lots of distracting stuff going on. That's what I felt like happened in this song, in the vocals, in the backing track with everything. And then to top that all off, the mixing and the mastering sounded a bit over compressed, a bit over limited. Um, I could hear things starting to get like a little little bit crunchy and blaring in that mid-range, especially on my NS10s, really comes through clearly on those. And that's characteristic of something that has been mixed and mastered incredibly loud and that has gone a bit overboard in those areas. Now, on the other hand, there were a lot of positives about this track. The singing was very good. The rapping, I actually liked a lot. I think a lot of the rappers had really, really interesting choice of syllables and like where they were placing their words over the rhythmic content. Very well done in that aspect. And even in the chorus, when it felt like there was way too much going on and it was kind of hard to decipher for sounds anymore. I thought that the singing was actually really good and they had some cool like harmony stabs going on there as well. So I can definitely see a lot of potential in this group. I think they are capable of making really great music, but I also think that they can definitely improve upon this type of track. Even if they do similar stuff to this in the future, I think they can execute it much better than this song was executed. So this is just another group that I'm gonna have to keep my eye on and I look forward to hearing more of their stuff in the future. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you could share this video all over the place, Facebook, Twitter forums, all that stuff really helps me out and I'll see you guys next time.